Island Lodge. This is a beautiful fishing lodge outside of Souk on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. To get to the lodge, we took the Tuasin Ferry to Victoria and drove to Souk. We arrived a lot later than anticipated because as you can see here, my car was broken into and the rear window was smashed. So I had to tape it all up with garbage bags and Gorilla Tape and get on the road. Vancouver Island and it is 6 30 in the morning and we're gonna go catch some salmon. We got up bright and early just as the sun was rising to get out on the water. The lodge is co-owned by Brett and Ryan and they both took us out for a day of salmon fishing. Before getting to the lodge my brother Adam and I filled out our paperwork to get a two-day fishing license so that we could get out on the water and catch some fish. The catch limit out here is two salmon per person on the boat per day. If you've ever been fishing, you probably know that it's a lot of hurry up and wait. Luckily, we didn't have to wait too long. We were quickly kept busy by the biting fish. We actually hit our daily catch limit in a couple of hours and had to head back into shore. On our way back to shore, we set some prawn and crab traps to pick up later in the day. I think half the fun of fishing is just hanging out with your friends on the ocean in beautiful British Columbia. And then catching the fish is really just a bonus. Back on land, Ryan showed us how to fillet the salmon we just caught so we could take it back to the packing room vacuum seal it, and pop it in the freezer. <laughs> we quickly attracted a hungry seal who was more than happy to help out with our leftovers. Once we'd cut up all of our salmon fillets, we took them to the back room to package them in plastic, vacuum seal them, and then put them in the freezer so that we could take them home with us later. It 
was really cool that they already had all of this equipment here and that we got to use it so that we could take some of the delicious salmon home with us. Voila, all of the salmon was ready to go in the freezer so we could take it home later. Back on the boat, it was time to pick up our crabs and prawns. It was really fun to have a guide on this trip because this is stuff I never would have known how to do. Fishing, prawning, crabbing, all of this stuff is really new to me. So I had a really good time learning from an expert and seeing how all of this is done. Oh, hey, Charlie. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Let's do one more. Okay. You're a wide shot of this one. Okay. Back on land again, we had the task yeah. of preparing okay. the prawns. Okay. This was not my favorite part, but I did eventually get the hang of it after <laughs> a few dozen prawns. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Chuck them in. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right I've honestly never been a huge shellfish fan But hey, if I pulled it out of the ocean I'm gonna eat it And honestly, you put garlic and butter on anything And it's gonna be pretty good You and I, we got it We don't need no Instead of going straight back to the ferry, we decided to go to Sombrio Beach just to see what all the fuss was about. I'd heard rumors of a hidden waterfall near here that I wanted to check out. Insurance and police reports and stuff that you're just like, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I know it's your favorite thing. <laughs> don't know what to do. Neither do I. It's just so pretty here. It's like a. Uh... <laughs> I saw you trying to avoid it, so I just had to. Tell me. 
This was my first trip out to the island and I absolutely fell in love with it. These peaceful, moody beaches are truly something special. And that's a wrap. A couple days of fishing, a hidden waterfall, some walks on the beach, and that's a very successful weekend in Souk. Subscribe for more adventures. Bye.